Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about David Tennant. More specifically, the fact that David Tennant actually had the thoughts cross through his mind that maybe he should turn down the role of the Doctor. Earlier this month, we talked a little bit about how David Tennant is traveling to a few different conventions this year, and this past weekend, David Tennant was actually at C2E2, the Chicago Comics and Entertainment Expo. The convention ran from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today, and David Tennant had a panel today on Sunday in the main hall, and it was completely filled to capacity. Because, you know, it's... David Tennant. And one of the first topics of the panel was, of course, David Tennant's best-known role, the Tenth Doctor on Doctor Who. Tennant told the crowd that knowing how iconic Doctor Who is and being as big of a fan of the show as he was, he felt he had about 35 years of research already going into the role. However, the way that David Tennant was offered the role was rather unexpected, even to him. He had mentioned to Russell T. Davies, who was working on Eccleston's season at the time, that he was interested in being being on the show. He didn't care what the part was, he didn't care how small the role, he just wanted a part in Doctor Who, the show that was pivotal for his childhood. He was a fanatic, Doctor Who fanatic. He just wanted a, just a little part of the show, just anything. So Davies invited Tennant over to his house and showed him a rough edit of one of the last few episodes of the Eccleston run. And then Russell T. Davies offered the role of the next Doctor to David Tennant which completely shocked David Tennant. Tennant told the crowd that his immediate response was, can I have a really long coat? And then after wanting to accept the role immediately, Davies told Tennant to maybe mull it over for a little while, just to give himself some time to process everything. And as Tennant recounts, there were a few times where he thought that he should turn down the role of the Doctor, which would have been crazy if it had gone Christopher Eccleston and then someone else if the show would have been as successful as Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Matt Smith, just building on that. If it would have been somebody else, the show might not have done so well. But after giving himself some time to think about it, Tennant says that it always came back to Oh, who are you kidding? Just, you, you want to be the doctor. The panel then shifted views and David Tennant was able to talk about one of his newest projects, David Tennant Does a Podcast With, where every so often David Tennant will sit down with a fellow actor or fellow celebrity and just talk and interview them. And Tennant says that it's really interesting for him to be the interviewer because he's usually the interviewee. So it seems to be a nice change of pace for him and something that he's really enjoying. He's already completed episodes interviewing people such as Jodie Whittaker, Ian McKellen, Catherine Tate, and I'm honestly halfway through the Catherine Tate podcast and I'm going to go right back to that podcast right after I'm done rendering this video because it's really fun hearing them together again. Actually, I'll go ahead and link the Catherine Tate episode down below so you can check it out for yourself and sort of get a feel for David Tennant's new project. But in the comments down below, let me know how you think Doctor Who would have fared if David Tennant had ended up turning down the role of the Doctor. Do you think that it would have been as successful or not really as much? But as always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say and you will see me tomorrow.